Agni, AI Apps Engine. Agni empowers AI for application development. Agni makes it easy to access and utilize large language models, LLM, and generative AI with a completely code-free approach, allowing anyone to build complete applications using AI. For those who don't know, this is Artblock's website. AI is their AI apps engine. Why this is important, they're marketing now in Q2. And right now, Artblock, which by the way is my most bullish crypto. I know some are surprised to hear that. I also have a, not a married attachment to it, but it's one that I like because it got flooded so much when I was buying it. it if you click the old chart, right now it's $2.10. The old time high was two forty, dollars So it's kind of hovering around that you know target sort of. It took five years to reach a new all time high. And if you go on their Twitter, they explain why it took so long. So Artblock now has AI integration, AI ties, which is good because there are part of so many different narratives in this crypto market that just one taking off could be the exposure Artblock needs or doesn't need, but just has and rocket ships like it did in the past. Um, our block just got listed on Crowcoin's DeFi wallet not too long ago. I think with marketing, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets on Binance soon. There's that catalyst, you know, hanging around as well. It's on Coinbase. This is the first year, first cycle for our block to be on a tier one listing, which is what? Exposure, right? Because the majority of newbies coming in, they buy crypto on beginner, easy to learn exchanges, which is what? Coinbase, Binance, Gemini, Crypto.com, even Upholds. I would know. I've never used a VPN. No interest in using one. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. What I've been doing has been working. My Discord's been also benefiting pretty damn well. One guy hit seven figures recently. I posted on Twitter and at least 12 or 13 last I checked are in the six figure range. It is an awesome group. If you want to join, by the way, I'll put a link in the pinned comments down below. But that being said, Art Block is an example of one of these plays where good things take time. It's an old crypto, but Robert Mao at the helm of this, he's one of the most knowledgeable, influential, silent leaders in this space. A reason why they got suppressed for so long, aside from their, you know, just building in this space, was they never marketed. We're in Q2 now. Q2 is going to be the start of this roller coaster that I believe is going to send Art Block to two figures relatively soon. You know what the crazy thing is with Art Block? A 10x from here is a 2 billion market cap. They're in AI, Web3, it's also a mainnet layer one. They're involved with scaling layer ones, making layer ones, also part of dApps, creation of them, scaling them. They're also blockchain agnostic. There's so many different things with Artblock, also DID, the centralized identity. They're paving the way for the future of crypto. A lot of people joke and call them the Apple of crypto. They're not really wrong. When you think of what they're trying to do, the current state of the market, and as an visionary where the future might go, the centralization, DID, Web3, the centralized internet, Layer 1's getting bigger, more adoption, what's a big part of Layer 1's? DApps, the centralized applications. What do developers want to build on? Layer 1's, what do they use? DApps, alongside smart contracts. And also, their token, which only has a 186 million coin cap, you have to hold it to do what? To build in this space, to build these depths. So now you have an incentive for a scarce token that has just got on a tier one listing, not to mention two now, soon to be two once a DeFi wall for Crow is you know legit on the exchange. What does that mean? Supply shock, which we saw not too long ago, and it means massive FOMO taking place soon. All the dominoes for Art Block are falling in a row. Again, I don't have a crystal ball. I know some of you joke, but based on my intuition of what's going to happen, what I'm seeing happen right now, I think Art Block is primed for a big run. I mean, a big run. I hold a big bag of Art Block for a reason. It's my most bullish crypto this cycle for a reason. Because I think the move's coming, although it's already been a freaking life-changing call for me, I think the moves coming are going to be so massive and so fast once the real rips take place. It's been consolidating for a bit at this $1.60 range. Now I'm up to above $2. 
and I'm, a I'm actually pretty surprised it's holding this strong at $2 while being a 200 million market cap. If you were here last bear market, you know as well as I do, micro caps can run to a one to two billion market cap usually, typically, before they marry Bitcoin. Which means what? It can still five to 10 X on a hype alone before all coin season even begins. I still think ArcBlock's going to hit 50 to $80 a cycle, but again, I'm naturally conservative. I wouldn't be surprised if it's even more. I know some of you guys think it's going to a hundred plus dollars. A little too moonish for me, but I understand when you compare it to the likes of ICP, Chainlink, Polkadot, Cosmos, all cryptos that do a similar function of what Artblock wants to do. And all those cryptos I just mentioned are different cryptos. So that should highlight the versatility that Artblock has. Versatility scarcity, marketing, and catalysts. They also have connections. The one who backed Vitalik Buterin for Ethereum is backing ArtBlock. Now, BlackRock is obviously not going to admit this. I have a feeling they have ties to BlackRock. It's just what I think. I think they have stronger ties than they're letting on. I think the next move up for ArtBlock personally is going to be a big one. I think the new all-time high is coming. I know people are starting to look at this and be like, it's getting dead. It's not, guys. It is not. You got to understand, cryptos go through downtrends. They go through pumps and uptrends. They go through consolidation. But when you reframe consolidation as accumulation, you look at the graphs differently. Okay? When you click the chart on ArtBlock, the year chart, it's treadmill, treadmill, treadmill. Going upstairs, okay, in the elevator, now we're back on the treadmill. Like, it goes in stages. But then when you zoom out past the month, the three months, six months to a year, or in this case, the old chart, this is where you see natural progression take place. Now, Art Block, the move to $1.60, $1.65, which broke the all-time high previously, was explosive. It freaking was a, an amazing ride, amazing time to see. Um... Right now, this is very significant. I see the trading volume, which is crazy. It's down 70%, yet it's still over 3 million at the start of this video. Despite only being on Coinbase as a major tier one listing and Crypto.com's DeFi wallet. If you go on their holders, they still have very few holders. This is a significant amount of trading volume. I think they had 11 million last I checked. For a crypto that is still not widely accessible. And again, beginners are going to use Coinbase. They're going to use Gemini, Binance, Crypto.com. They're not going to your Mexi. They're not pulling out VPNs. I know a lot of you guys think that's what they do. They don't. Trust me, they don't. People make fun of normies all the time. That's what they're called, normies, because they're beginners who ask the same questions typically. But again... If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? The proof's in the pudding. We see numerous Coinbase coins now pump, including old ones. Artblock, to me, I think at this price, is still going to net significant multipliers, which is why I wanted to bring this up here. Because once they fully get into marketing this quarter, if they get on Binance, that's exposure. If we move more towards decentralization and the future it entails with Web3, being a part of AI, being a part of scaling solutions, and also a mainnet layer one itself and no gas fees, which is also pretty damn freaking good. You can also program in a variety of different languages. This crypto is going to blow up. Just my personal opinion. Obviously, I don't have a crystal ball. Like I said, you can say... Go F yourself, John. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. I'm staying away. People doubted me when it was below 10 cents, below 20 cents, below a dollar. They're starting to catch on now. Art Block, your favorite YouTuber has no idea what it is or even heard of it. You ask any YouTuber, they're like, Art Block, what is that? And they just say, okay, it's bad. I'm telling you guys, that's a big mistake. A big friggin' mistake. But you don't have to take my word for it. You will see in due time. Actions will reveal what words can never do. And by the way, if you want to reach out to me, 
talk to me. See what crypto on buying, sell, and trade next be a part of a private support group of like-minded investors who want to change their life, which many had done already. If you want to be in a position to take massive profits, I encourage you guys to join Patreon and Discord. I do have a tier that is selling out today. It's going to be selling out. Once it sells out, the price is going up. I want to keep the group small. We got a lot of new members and it actually crashed the Discord site. So that's a big reason why I'm raising the price. It's not going to change from here. But if you want to be locked in at the current tier price, then I encourage you guys to join at this time. It'll be in the pinned comments down below if you're interested. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. Are you bullish on Artblock ABT? And if so, where do you see its price? This bull cycle. Drop your comment down below. And let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.